How you doing guys? Zane's Heavy Boxing Dose to Joe back with another video. And in this video I'd like to give you my prediction for June the 1st upcoming fight. It's on the Anthony Joshua vs Andy Ruiz undercard. And it's just been around, announced recently in the last couple days. It's uh, Joshua Vuatsi vs Marco Antonio Periban. You know, um, great fight. You know, decent step up in competition from Joshua Vuatsi. But, you know, before I get into this prediction video, I'd like to tell you a bit about my channel and, uh, yeah, before I get into this prediction video. So, I've I've recently come off all social media, you know, and a lot of my fans, a lot of people have been messaging me saying what's going on. Um, everything's alright, you know, everything's fine. There's nothing wrong at all, you know, um... The reason why I've come off social media and uh, off of my Facebook and Instagram, everything like that, is just purely because I was on Facebook and I was streaming the Deontay Wilder versus Dominic Brazil fight. I noticed a lot of people requested me to do this, you know. Um, so I went ahead and done this, you know. I started streaming the fight and halfway through the stream I have been reported by someone, you know, um, saying I've got copyright infringement, you know, against the Deontay Wilder and Dominic Brazil fight. You know, I had about 6,000 people on my stream, you know, and some hater has, a couple haters or whatever, have gone and reported me, you know, and, uh, you know, Facebook disabled my account. Uh, I'm, I'm very, obviously, I'm very disappointed and a bit disheartened by it, you know, someone's gone out of the way to you know try to derail my channel and derail my progress you know at about a big following about three thousand people you know on my facebook following me you know um it's just a shame to be honest you know um a shame someone would do that you know the envy and jealousy is real you know and i'm feeling it at the moment you know so I decided to come off Facebook, come off all my social media, but one thing for sure is you'll never stop me talking about my passion and believing in myself, you know. Um, so just because I'm off social media doesn't mean that I'm not going to be giving down uh, my best boxing predictions on my channel, you know, continue supporting me, you know, and I'll never give up on my passion. Someone's going to have to kill me or do something to me to make me stop, you know, yeah, so, you know, just like to put it out there, you have to physically shoot me, like David Hayes said, you know, like Jerry Chisora and David Hayes said, I'm going to physically shoot David Hayes, but anyways, guys, that's what I'm saying, you're never going to stop me from doing what I love to do, so I'm going to be still dropping these prediction videos on my channel, you know, and as for the fans, you know, the fans that appreciate my channel, the fans that have shown me love, you know, I'm still here, you know. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe. Make sure you share my videos, you know, as I mentioned, I'm not on social media no more. And, you know, um, I'm still going to be studying the fight, so make sure you share my videos. Um, make sure you uh, post all my videos on your social media. You know, everything, I'd appreciate it, you know, because I don't have social media no more. So it will help, it will go to a, it'll go to a lot of calls for me, you know, um, in regards to, you know, uh, sharing my channel across the whole world, you know. And it's for you fans, you know, the fans that have uh, stuck by me from day one, you know, and I appreciate that, you know, because if it weren't for you, the progress wouldn't be there, you know. So I appreciate that, guys. So let's get into it guys, best uh, boxing breakdowns and predictions. The next prediction I've got is uh, Joshua Boazzi versus Marco Antonio Periban, like I mentioned. So let's get into it. Let's see where Marco Antonio Rubio is, Man Marco Antonio Periban is in his career so far. So Marco Antonio Periban, 25 and 4 and 1 draw. You know, Marco Antonio Rubio, when he was in his prime, of his career in his younger days, you know, um, he was very good. He was a good boxer, you know, and he's got decent, credible opponents on his resume, you know, the likes of uh, Badu Jack. He drawed with Badu Jack, 
You know, Woody Jacks is a great boxer. You know, um, he has also fought the likes of James DeGale, having the yield for him, um, Jay Leon Love, a TMT fighter. You know, so he's got credible opponents on his resume, you know. Um, where he's at in his career so far, he's coming off a two-year layoff. You know, Marco Antonio Periban is coming off a two-year exact layoff when he steps into the ring in, on June the 1st. Um, Marco Antonio uh, Periban is a super middleweight, so he's going up in weight to face um, Joshua Boazzi. You know, and that's a tough task for me, you know, for him being a super middleweight. Jumping up to light heavyweight and being inactive for about two years, you know, it's a tough ask for him. You know, Marco Antonio Rubio, what I must say over Joshua Bratz, he has got the experience. He's been in there with the better boxers, better competition. And I must give him that, you know, but he's naturally a super middleweight, you know. Um, at this point of his career, he's age 35 as well. You know, and his last fight against Abney Yildirim, I watched that, you know, and he started off well, you know, good jab, you know, good footwork, lateral movement to evade Abney Yildirim's uh, come forward aggressive style, you know, but um, his strength and condition isn't there, you know, to be honest, as he's gotten older, his reflexes have gone slower, you know, and he's not the fighter he once was with the speed and hand, hand speed and agility. You know, he gets more caught, caught more often, you know. And what I noticed in his last fight against Abney Yildirim, he started off well. But due to his stamina and conditioning, um, he later faded during the second half of the fight, which gave the fight almost in Abney Yildirim's favour. You know, the second half of the fight, Abney Yildirim was dominating, you know, being the young, fresher guy. You know, and Yildirim dropped him, you know, very badly in the 11th round and could have forced us, forced the stoppage, in my opinion, if he really wanted to. You know, uh, Marco Antonio Periban didn't look like he had anything left after the 11th round um, in that fight. And not to mention that was two years ago, you know. So he's been inactive for two years, you know, and he's going up in weight against Joshua Boazzi. You know, Joshua Boazzi, where is that in his career so far? You know, brilliant light heavyweight prospect, in my opinion. He's demolishing everyone that's coming in his way so far. You know, um, his last fight, you know, against Liam Conroy. You know, I gave you that prediction video. And I said, I did mention that he would knock out Liam Conroy. And that's what happened, you know. Um, Joshua Boatsy, a very devastating puncher with a lot of power. Good body punching ability, you know. Um... Very fast, quick with his hand speed, very good defense as well, blocks a lot of punches on his gloves, you know, and he's got a come forward style about him, you know, and he's devastating when he puts his combinations together, you know, um, especially when he goes down to the body. What I've noticed about Joshua Boatsy, he goes to the body very early, you know, in his fights, you know, and that, that suits him, you know, and it definitely breaks down his opponents because the punching power is just too much for them, you know. And, um, yeah, Joshua Boatsy looking good. 10 and 0 with 8 KOs. Uh, only age 26 now. You know, good, got good wins over decent competition with the likes of Liam Conroy, Reynold Quinn, and, and Tony Avalon. You know, um, at age 26, I believe he's the real deal. You know, and I've said this a lot about uh, Joshua Boatsy. You know, he is going to be the real, real deal. And he's going to be a force to reckon with in the light heavyweight division, you know. He's getting rid of four former world champions within ease, within the first couple of rounds. Uh, so, you know, in my opinion, the way this the way I see this fight going down, due to the two-year layoff of Marco Antonio Periban, I think, you know, the ring rust will definitely be there. And it will definitely be a factor against Marco Antonio Rubio with, uh, with Joshua Boazzi constantly coming forward. You know, it's going to play right into Joshua Boatsy's hands. I expect Boatsy to start attacking Marco Antonio Periban's uh, body very early on, you know, because Marco Antonio Rubio does like to use his footwork and he does like to use the four uh, corners of the ring, you know, uh, with his ability, you know, uh, using the jab. But I think Joshua Boatsy, because he's going to start going to the body early, you know, Marco Antonio Rubio, Marco Antonio Periban, sorry, doesn't have the power to discourage Joshua Boatsy, in my opinion, from coming forward. 
and that body work early from Joshua Boazzi will definitely slow Marco Antonio Paraban down and eventually he's going to end up um, fighting the fight Joshua Boazzi wants and you know he's going to get knocked out eventually because you know he's just not going to be able to sustain the power especially because of the fact that he's moving up in weight against uh, Joshua Boazzi here he's actually a smaller guy super middleweight you know and his body doesn't look good and I don't think he'll be able to hold up you know at the at the age of 35 he's slowly on decline decline and I expect Joshua Boazzi to knock him out within eight rounds so that's my final prediction guys look out for this fight you know as I mentioned I like to break the best boxing breakdowns and predictions you know, I like to give you the most accurate predictions. I definitely think Joshua Boazzi is going to stop Marco Antonio Periban here, you know, within eight rounds, you know. So, you know, make sure you look out for that fight. It's definitely on the on the card. Andy Ruiz Jr. versus Anthony Joshua. And this is another showcase fight for Joshua Boazzi to look good in. You know, and I expect him to do the job over Marco Antonio Periban. So my final prediction, guys. I've got Joshua Boatsy knocking out Marco Antonio Periban. You know, let me know your thoughts, guys. As always, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Until the next video, Zane's every boxing dosage, and I'm out.